over and Goodson to the near side. And Bailey goes to the far side. Again from the shotgun formation, Cooper is the blocking back. Deep snap to Craig. It's low, but he picks it up and he fires long. Bailey, and no, it's Goodson at the 35. Goodson breaking a tackle at the 30 and out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Ty Goodson coming across from the near to the far side, and he's got 34 yards before he's chased out of bounds by Mark Roman and Troy Twilley. It looked as though he was throwing for uh, Karsten Bailey, and the pass was overthrown for Bailey. He didn't have a chance at it, and Goodson was back there playing center field. Charlie, he hauled it in for the long game. Well, he's now fifth all-time at Auburn in pass receptions, Jim. And he had the huge game last week against Ole Miss. Had six receptions for 137 yards. And now uh, he has uh, five 100-yard receiving games to be second all-time at Auburn behind Terry Beasley. Down at the LSU 26, Clifton Robertson and Rusty Williams have checked into the ball game. There's that offset eye, unbalanced line. Craig, under center this time, is back to throw. Got a wide open man, Beasley inside the 10 to the 5. He dives, he's in, touchdown! 26 yards, Craig to a wide open Fred Beasley at the eight yard line. And he dived in off the far sideline over the pylon and Auburn's on top. Fred Beasley lined up in the wing back position, the fullback normally in the eye right behind the quarterback. He lined up behind the left tackle and then he went out. A linebacker would have had to pick him up. That should have been Joe Wesley. Wesley just losing him completely. And Fred Beasley not only making a great catch, making a pirouette, but then diving with the effort to break the plane in the end zone for the touchdown. Kick for the point after by Jared Holmes is away and good. And Auburn has moved 61 yards in six plays to assume a 7 to nothing lead. Third down and 10 at the 20, bobbling the ball, almost falling down as Tyler throws an interception at the 25. After the 20, breaking a tackle as Takeo spikes at the 15, and he's going out of bounds at the LSU 10. Takeo Spikes has created an Auburn turnover. A pass interception as Herbert Tyler almost fell down, pulling away from center, juggled the ball, and then threw it right into coverage. Bad exchange between Todd McClure and Herbert Tyler. He was dropping back, and he was trying to throw that curl route. And I'll tell you what, if Takeo Spikes hadn't intercepted that, Antoine Nolan would have. Herbert uh, Tyler just never really was on track on that play. Second and five to go. Toss sweep. Collins off the right side, breaking in the clear. Across the 20, 25. Collins to the 30, 35. Collins is pulled down from behind at the 38 or 39 yard line by Antoine Nolan. They call him Cecil the Diesel, and he just picked up 27 yards before Ryan Taylor and Antoine Nolan were able to haul him in. Showing great quickness as he turned the corner off that toss sweep. Herb Tyler. Changing his play at the line of scrimmage. Play clock running down. Down to one second. Just got the play off. Tyler rolls out to his left. Wants to throw to the boundary. It is picked off. It's intercepted at the Auburn 45 by Antoine Nolan. Second interception of the night for Herbert Tyler. That time Antoine Nolan out dueled Larry Foster for the football over along this near boundary. Now on the year, Jim, Tyler had not thrown an interception coming into this game. 0 for 4. Two interceptions for Herb Tyler this early in the ball game. That may affect his psyche a little bit. Keep in mind, you remember Auburn had one game. They dubbed the interception game against LSU. At the Auburn 47, the ball changing hands again. The third turnover thus far here in the first quarter. Auburn leads it 7 to nothing. Marquise Cooper is the setback now for Damian Craig. Waiting four yards behind the line of scrimmage. Takes the snap. Looking to throw, got time, fires, it's hits four on a crossing pattern, 45. He's at the 40, he's at the 35, the 30. He is out of bounds, down at the LSU 25 yard line, over on the far side after 33 big yards. Well, one thing's pretty obvious right now, Damian Craig is watching LSU line up in the press coverage, the man-for-man -man coverage, and one thing is most difficult, Jim, to do is to stop the crossing routes because inadvertently people get picked off of each other, and that's what sprung picks for after he caught the ball for the long run. Great read by Damian Craig and a beautiful throw. Here is Craig, sideline left, open field to the right. Here comes the blitz. Craig takes the deep snap in the shotgun. Will he run? No, he'll pump fake, and he'll throw to four. He's got it at the five, breaking a tackle. Down he goes at the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Auburn! Hicks Poor did a great 
great job. A 25-yard touchdown reception, but they had him around the five-yard line. Charlie, he just dived and sucked that ball out and broke the plane to the goal line. Great play by Hicks Four. Well, Jim, you ever played backyard football? That's what that that's exactly what that was because Hicks Poor was covered on the play. Damian Craig couldn't find his initial target open, and he scrambled, and that's why Damian is so very, very dangerous. Tupperville, Tommy Tupperville, Ole Miss, said he's the most dangerous quarterback out of the pocket in America, and he scrambled and found Hicks Poor open on the scramble. Auburn has built a two-touchdown lead here in the first quarter. Jeremy Zills will hold as the kick is away from Jarrett Holmes. It is up, it is good, and Auburn leads it 14 to nothing. Out of the eye set, Collins the tailback. He gets the toss sweep, he's in the clear. Collins breaks the tackle at the two, and he skirts into the end zone for the score. Sweeping to the near side, Cecil Collins. A run of four yards off the toss sweep around the left end. Martavius Houston grabbed a double arm full of air trying to get the man from behind, but he got the touchdown run of four yards, and it's a 14-6 ball game, and here comes that LSU crowd. Damian Craig loading up the shotgun. The slot is to the near side. He's got one blocking back. Craig waiting for the deep snap from Dunnigan. There it is, low, but he picks it up, gets it, chased out of the pocket, got some running room, crossing the 20, the 25, sidesteps a man, and gets a first down up to the 30, and slides under a tackle at the 32. Beautifully done by Damian Craig, as only a quarterback with his... Uh, maneuverability shiftiness, and boy. shiftiness could do. Bailey split to the near side. Ty Goodson to the far side. A short drop by Craig, and he's going to float one to Goodson to the far side. He's got it over the shoulder, and he goes out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. Cedric Donaldson covering on the play, but Ty just outran him down that far boundary, and that play is good for 25 yards and an Auburn first down to the LSU 32. Craig could be changing his play at the line of scrimmage. The offset eye, he's under center. Wide outs to both sides, needing three yards. He gives to Williams. He cuts off the right side of the room. 20, 15. Williams down to the 10-yard line. A burst of 15 yards by Rusty Williams. The saving tackle by Mark Roman. Here's the first down play. The ball nose in at the 10-yard line. On a delay, Williams steaming up the middle. Cuts to the outside. Breaking tackles. He's in. Touchdown, Auburn! A 10-yard touchdown run by Rusty Williams, and Auburn extends that lead back to two touchdowns, even though the scoreboard gives the touchdown to LSU. Well, I'll tell you what, if you don't think the Auburn players are excited, Demarcus Curry and T.J. Mears hugging each other after those blocks. Oh, boy, T.J. Mears just absolutely annihilated Chuck Wiley, the All-American, on that play. I'm talking about a wonderful block by Demarcus Curry as well. Offset eye from near midfield on a delay. This is Collins. Collins with a hole. 45-40, breaking the tackle. 35-30. Good race up to 20. 15-10. Drag down at the two-yard line. Martavius Houston, the last man who had a chance. And that Collins is something else, I want to tell you. Well, he had a huge amount of blocking that time. Really didn't get touched at the line of scrimmage. And what you don't want to have happen with Cecil the Diesel is to get that Diesel engine started. You need somebody to hit him around the line of scrimmage. That time, nobody touched him until he got in the linebacker area. And one of the defensive backs, Brad Ware, came up and missed the tackle. About a 48-yard burst. It's first and goal for LSU. Straight eye formation and going up and over and into the end zone on the quarterback sneak is Herbert Tyler. And LSU has fired right back and they close the lead to a touchdown. Auburn leads it 21 to 14. The clock is on the move. Herbert Tyler has him in the eye. Toss sweep. Collins cuts to the left. Collins breaks into the secondary. Breaking tackles. 40, 45, 50. Collins to the 45. He's to the Auburn 40 and somebody cut him down from behind at the 37-yard line. Rob Payton. My goodness, they're going to have to find some way of dealing with Cecil Collins. Tyler with the slot to the near side. One setback. He wants to throw. Tyler launches one long. It is caught behind the defense at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, LSU. Flag in the end zone maybe for celebrating, but it's an LSU touchdown to Nemesis Bates. Long snap count by Craig. Here is Craig, a short drop, a pump fake, and he throws to a wide open receiver. He's got it 25 to the 20 to the 15, and down to the 10-yard line is tight end Kevin McLeod, and finally hauled in from behind at the 9. 36-yard attempt from the far hash mark. Jeremy Sills will be the holder, Brent Turner the snapper. Slight angle to the left, snap a little low, but he got it up, and he kicked it, and it's good. And Auburn's got the lead. 
Once again, the Tigers of Auburn have never trailed LSU in this game. It's Auburn 24 and LSU 21. Greg needs about three yards on third down from the shotgun. Over the middle, got his man, Ty Goodson, 45. Goodson up to midfield and wrestled out of bounds at the LSU 49-yard line. First down, Auburn, Troy Twilley on the tackle of Tyrone Goodson. Damian Craig with four wide receivers. Going to load up the shotgun again. Dunnigan snaps him the ball. Here comes the blitz. He is hit, got away. He's got some running room. He's at midfield. He's at the 45. He's at the 40. Comes out of bounds along the near sideline. Should have enough for the first down. Out of the eyes there. Collins. Collins cuts to the inside. He's got running room. He is in a foot race. He bounces off the tackle. And he is gone to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown LSU. 42 yards. Auburn just almost powerless to do anything about Cecil the Diesel Collins. He has been a thorn in their side, and LSU has its first lead. Oh, he hikes it back there, knee high. Craig takes it, and he throws it long. There's Hicks Ford, diving grab, and fumbled the football, but fumbled it out of bounds across the 40-yard line. It'll be an Auburn first down. Up at the uh, 42. Boy, what a great way to start the drive. Hicks Poor running a little flag route, and Damian Craig waiting and timing that route perfectly. Damian watching, looking downfield, watching Hicks Poor work to the outside and just had a step on the defender, and the ball was thrown perfectly. Poor got 41 yards. Make that 21 yards down to the 41-yard line. There's the deep snap. Craig takes it. Here comes the rush. Craig looking. Craig looking. Throws on the run. Over the middle. It is Ty Goodson for a first down to the LSU 45. <laughs> Big third down play here. Craig takes a low snap. The blitz is coming. Over the middle. Got a wide open receiver. Goodson first down to the 30. Goodson to the 25. Darks out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Had to hurry to get it away, but he did just in the nick of time. Goodson on a crossing pattern. Rayon Hill ran him out of bounds at the LSU 21. First down Auburn. And again, the cross routes all night long have confused LSU and that's where Auburn has gotten their big plays in the passing game on the crossing routes. Gain of about 18. Two wide outs to the far side, two to the near side. Again from the shotgun. The blocking back is Cooper. Craig taking, looking, looking, pump faking, firing passes, caught! Hicks for a diving catch down at the six yard line. That should be a first down. Craig calling his play. Waiting for the snap. He's got it. He gives Williams. Williams steams up the middle at right guard, and he moves that pile, and there's an early whistle. He did not appear to be stopped. Well, they, but never they, stopped they never they stopped him. They never stopped him, but they blew the whistle. Good. Great. That whistle blew way before he was stopped. Auburn again with three tight ends. Wing back is to the right. Beasley the fullback. Williams the tailback. It's going to be Williams. Williams slices in there, spins. Is he in? Yes, he is. Touchdown, Auburn! <laughs> Rusty Williams takes it in from a yard and a half out, bouncing off a would-be tackler with 30 seconds left to play. Jim, and Auburn leads LSU 30 to 28. Let me tell you something. Whether Auburn wins this game or not, something miraculous could happen to keep Auburn from winning the game, a kickoff return or whatever. But anybody that says that Damian Craig can't play in a big game, you need to watch this drive. All right, Holmes, out of the hold of Zills. He kicks. It's up. It is barely over the crossbar, but it's good. 65 from the LSU 45. Now, he's got the range, Jim, and that sounds strange for me to say that, but he's got a 20-mile-an-hour wind behind him. He sure does. The wind is at his back. There is no angle. Now, sometimes, Charlie, field goals of this distance can be easier blocked, obviously, than, than short ones. Now, Larry Melton should be in there for Auburn. He is the pass master at blocking them. So LSU got 15 yards on a penalty, and they're going to try a field goal. It is blocked. It's blocked. LSU's holder picks it up, and he will be muscled down. And now I can say it. Auburn has won. Auburn has won. Auburn has defeated LSU here in Baton Rouge, blocking the field goal. Who was it? I'm not sure who blocked it, but it never really had a chance. He had the trajectory real low because he needed to go 65 yards. It didn't really get out of the line of scrimmage. It may have even hit one of his own players. Now, where are all those people that were saying Auburn did not belong on the same field with LSU? It seems to me the scoreboard says Auburn 31 and LSU 28. 
despite a masterful performance by Cecil Collins, LSU has fallen to Auburn at home. The Auburn Tigers showing great courage and tenacity, coming from four points down and moving 80 yards to score what proved to be the winning touchdown on a blast over the right side by Rusty Williams from a yard and a half out. Well, I do the game was on my shoulders. That's what I've been wanting. Um, I waited 365 days for this game. I got a lot of criticism for what happened last season. My composure. I came back with three minutes left in the game and drove us downfield. So to all my critics out there, I don't know what to say. about coaching tonight. That wasn't about us coaches. We did everything we could to screw the things up. It's about a bunch of young fellas with hearts that big. It's about men that fight and don't want to quit. Coaches will just mess it up half the time. That was uh, that that'll be go down now, man. It's one of the that's a biggie. That's one of those that you'll always remember. But hey, that only last day. I tell you what kind of team we got, man. We gotta have one of those every week. We gotta have one of those every week. We've had three, let's just keep on going. We were gonna get a touchdown, the line believe, the running back believe, the receivers believe. We all believed, and we just took it down there, and we did what we had to do. And you stuffed it in the end. And we stuffed it in. They said we, they was tougher than us. They ain't tougher than us. If they were tougher than us, they had won. We knew we were going to come out and do it the second half. Forget all what happened last year. This year, we're going to win the second half, and we're going to take it all the way. Oh. Now, can you going to get me all sweaty? Now, let me hug you when we get back. Oh. <laughs> Hell of a win. Hell of a win, man. Hell of a win. Hell of a win. This team is, is, is something special about them, and uh, I'm, I'm glad for everybody, coaches. I mean, we, we, we pulled it off, and uh, we're going to continue doing it. Most definitely. It was a big senior class victory. A lot of young guys stepped up also. Keith Sport did a great job. He's Daniel Craig. And... <laughs> then after they caught it, you know, I look at the back of the huddle. I looked at Coach Alston, and I saw that look in his eye, and I said, man, I know I got to score this one. <laughs> I said, hey, I got to take it on in. The Virginia win was probably, well, if we look back on it, we have a great season like I think we can. It'll probably be the biggest victory that we had the season because we had some young guys start for that first the first game. We were in a hostile territory. We were able to come back and win that football game in the fourth quarter. So I think that set the tone for the whole season.